the question is a patient with an incapacitating systemic disease that is a constant threat to life belongs to which asa category asa stands for american society of anesthesiology this uh, classification or this system of nomenclature was given by the board in order to identify what is the protocol that has to be followed before an a patient who is uh, in presenting with a certain complication what is the precautions that are going to be taken when the patient is taken up for general anesthesia and what are the necessary met protocols that are to be followed if general anesthesia is to be monitored in a patient who is presenting with certain signs and symptoms so it's a direct question and the answer of here is asa4 this this is how they had classified and they gave six uh, or they gave total a total of seven categories and this is how they classified them asa1 is a normal healthy patient without any systemic disease ASA2 is with mild systemic disease. For example, a mild systemic disease would be a patient who is having who is having uh, diabetes mellitus, which is under control. Third would be severe systemic disease. Over here, the op uh, answer could be or the example could be a patient who is suffering from diabetic ketoacidosis. ASA4 would be a patient with an incapacitating systemic disease that is a constant threat to life. The example of this would be a a patient who has undergone myocardial infarction or a patient who has undergone or who is suffering from covid so covid also can come under asa4 asa5 would be a moribund patient not expected to survive without the operation an example of this would be for a, uh, a road trauma accident patient who has undergone or a patient who has had a tension pneumothorax so such a patient would come under asa5 ASA6 is a declared brain dead patient whose organs are being removed for donor purposes. So directly a patient who has suffered from brain death, they would come under ASA6. ASA E is an operation of any variety with E preceding the number to indicate the patient's physical status. So it is an emergency operation. How could the an example for this would be that a patient who is suffering from uh for example, for a patient who is suffering from COVID and who is having respiratory distress, in this situation, you would have to administer immediate oxygen to such a patient. So it would be ASA E3, where an emergency oxygen therapy would be needed along with normal protocols that have to be followed for the by the anesthetist.